Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football. We're back again today for a special match preview. This is the Champions League round of 16, and we're going to have a Bayern Munich fan joining us. We're going to have Deo joining us. We're going to go into depth talking about the Bayern Munich Arsenal matchup, looking back in the past, looking forward, and doing a little bit of a combined 11. Of course, as you guys know, anytime we do a combined 11, you guys can submit your super chats to, of course, sway the combined 11. But before we do that, we obviously have to make the team. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It is midnight in the UK. So, of course, show some love by making sure you hit that, uh, that like button also. We got Byron Ryan in the building. We got Deo in the house. And before they go any further, don't forget to check out our title sponsor today, Sofa Score. Yes, 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 people. What's going on? Okay, so big up to everyone who just joined us over from Never a Foul, and let's get straight into it. I'm going to just change it up. So we got Arsenal on this side. We got Byron Ryan on this side. And I just want to start off by saying, who is the favorite going into this game? Because i seen a tweet. i seen an Instagram post from a certain Thomas Muller, and the man is talking as if, he is the underdog. The man is going as if he is going up against a team that is superior. And and I just I want to show you guys this. I just want to show you guys this. Byron Ryan, before before you jump in, I just want to show you guys this. Uh, so let me know what do you guys think because you got you got my man Thomas Muller coming out saying two days till we face Arsenal, and this really made me laugh. He said we should take this situation and surprise everyone on the big stage against the Gunners. Talking as if you guys are the underdogs and Arsenal are the favorites, and he and he's and he's doing that us against the world gimmick. I find it hilarious, don't you, Dave? Well, you, you do understand that we're coming to the Emirates. There's going to be 99% to 100% all Arsenal fans, and we just lost to Heidenheim. So, yeah, based off of what's happened just recently in the past, say, 48 hours, yeah, I mean, we haven't played up to our potential. So, yeah, we should be the underdog for at least the first game. Not a different question. Though. Thing, but I kind of feel like you guys are overdoing it. You guys are definitely overdoing it. Don't forget, this is the same team that won the league 11 years in a row. Arsenal, first time back in the Champions League in years. And, and you got your man coming out here acting like, oh, what was me? We're going to the Emirates. I'm, yeah, I, I mean, you're reading a little deep into that. I mean, it's Thomas Muller. He's the clown prince of Bavaria. I mean, you also have a, a competent manager. We have fucking Tuchel who couldn't rub two sticks together. I mean, he's a our, dipshit. Our, our, our manager is a novice. He's, he's literally been a manager for four and a half years. Okay, but I mean, Tom, Tom, I mean Thomas Tuchel... Tuchel Arteta is going Tuchel to be a full time manager in December 19th this year. Is going to make it five years. So yeah, but Tuchel can't stay at a place longer than two before he but, gets either kicked out by the players or <laughs> tries to but, but he has, fight the has, board. He has more experience, and then there's the Bayern heritage of we're talking about here, which is like the Champions League. The Champions League is not the same form as our, as the league. So, it, and this is where I I I don't take what. Uh, teams say based on their league form when they're coming to the Champions League. So, for example, if Arsenal is playing really great in the league, which we were, for example, we were playing really good. We, when we got into Champions League and we faced Porto, we saw what happened. We saw what happened. That form could not translate in the Champions League. So, I know Bayern might have lost the last two games or whatever it is, or played badly, you know, whatever the case is. But this is injuries. Champions League. Uh, injuries, but this is Champions League and we know how in the Champions League, it doesn't matter what your form in the league is. You turn up. Chelsea won the Champions League the year they came, what, 8th, ninth, 10th in the, in the league? Something like that. Yeah. They were not, yeah, but they also yeah. had they had a, the weakest side of that bracket, though. Let's I know, be honest. Like, yeah, they, they, they played they, they did, the but they still trash won. of the thing. But yeah. they're mid-table. Mid so what I'm saying is I, I don't really look at your league form when it comes to Champions mm -hmm. League because Champions League is knockout football. And we are talking about Bayern Munich here. Please, let's... 
Yeah. Guys, I mean, guys, guys, my, what... my thing is, is we're, we're a completely different beast when it comes to the Champions League. But the thing is, is everybody's basing it off of our form in the league, how we haven't been really impressive over the past few years as far as like Villarreal and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But we're also getting some players back from injury. Neuer was out this weekend, so it, he should be ready for that game. We get Leroy Sané back for that game. Kingsley Coman, maybe a game time decision. Uh, uh, Nasir Mazraoui should be back. So, I mean, we, we're getting guys back. But then you have the flip side of Tuchel playing guys like Upa Makano and Kim Min Jae as a center back pairing that hasn't really played together in over a month. So they're going to look terrible. So then we have to put in Eric Dyer and and Matthias Delict. Even though for me the best combination of those four is Matthias Delict and Kim Min Jae. For some reason Thomas Tuchel can't see that, but he also can't see that he doesn't know what the hell he's doing with half of these players. You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, you have extremely so what, good so wings, what, and you only play Her- one. Why does Heritage play a, play a role then? Because we we need to be. There's a point where. Heritage plays a role as Bayern in the Champions League, right? This is not it, me. This, like it when, does, when, but it does. But the thing is, is our heritage took a major shot in the leg when Oliver Kahn and Sally Hamasic last year decided to, when we were in three competitions, to uproot everything and put Thomas Tuchel in the job. So I mean, the thing is, is you've got that. They started handing out. $20 million contracts to any and everybody, we have to fix all the stuff that those morons fucked up. So, I mean, the thing is, is it's it's going to take us a little bit to get that Bayern mentality back. Not to mention we have a bunch of new guys that, you know what I'm saying, at this point may or may not want to be there. Alfonso Davies being one very large, has he checked out already? You see what I'm saying? There's a, there's a lot of guys that are getting to that point of will they be here in the summer? Will they be here come August? You see what I'm saying? Like Davies yeah, is a but, shell but, of a guy he was four years ago. I know, but at the same time, like we're talking about Bayern and we're talking about players that even if they want to check out, they know that this is the only – this season I know that the Champions League is the only trophy that Bayern can go for. Liverpool mm-hmm. is going to win the league. Uh, Leverkusen won the DFB, uh, if I'm not mistaken. The DF, the D. Well, they're in there. They're in the final for the DFB call, but they're playing. Oh, yeah. I think. Uh, I think they're playing Nuremberg. Yeah. Okay. So, so my thing is, this is the only trophy, right, that Bayern can can actually lift this year, and they've done it multiple times before in the past. They they've got mm-hmm. Champions League heritage. Even if Tuchel is going to leave at the end of the season, and some of the players want to leave, I don't think anybody wants to leave empty-handed. I don't think your players are sitting there saying, you know what, we don't mind just, you know, we, don't, we don't care, like we're, you know, I'm sure they're coming to win. And because yeah. they're coming, uh, yeah, so you're not the underdog. If we have to decide, define who the underdog is, it's the person that has the least chance of winning, which is Arsenal. Well, and the I'll thing why, is, and I'll tell you why Arsenal is the underdog. We're the underdog in this, really. in this game. We are the underdog in this game because, one, we haven't been here in 14 years. Two, we have a coach who, this is his first time in the Champions League. Son, I'm busy. For me, oh, you're you. talking to your little boy. Um, I'm just gonna ask you, what's that? Thank you, Dad. I bought him swords. Ninja swords. <laughs> oh, big up to him. Big yeah. up to little one. You want to say so hi? Cute. Um, your ninja sword. Hey, big up. <laughs> All right, go. Okay, let's uh, let's let's quickly uh, just bring it back for one second. So, this is the weakest Byron in how many years? I wouldn't even. I wouldn't say it's the weakest. I would just say it's the most underachieving Bayern in probably since the 2011-2012 season. So what is your main reason behind this? You just don't think the manager's up for scratch? The the manager, it took him forever and a day to figure out a lineup that worked. Um, the first half of the season, we were doing well. Everything was good. Then the second half of the season started. And it just... it it. It just hasn't gelled and, and fit together perfectly because we got a lot of long-term injuries at that point. So with, with injuries, we had to piece together a center back pairing. That's why Eric Dyer's even there. Um, with injuries, that's why we had to get Sasha Boy uh, from Galatasaray to play right back, which 
three or four games in, or three or four weeks into the thing. He's out for a month. So now we have yeah. to put Kimmich and, back there. Yeah. So And that's why we have injuries. Brian Zaragoza. But you don't have too many injuries. Besides Sasha, who else is really injured for your team? Well, Sasha Bowie's not injured now. He's coming off. He should be off the injured list by tomorrow-ish. Um, the only ones that are possible not to play is Kingsley Coman, I guess, is like a, a tomorrow-type decision. Um, Neuer's going to be on the plane. Um, I think pa- uh, Pavlovich and, and Tariq Buckman, but Tariq Buckman's uh, second, sh- like, like Bayern 2. But, but, um, but yeah. I, I want I want to I want to dispel some a, a little bit of a myth here. This is you say this is the most underachieving Bayern team. Uh, fair enough. Mm-hmm. You know more. You know more about Bayern as regards to what they've achieved and all. But I've I've been looking at the table for Bayern for the last three four years, and you're still on track to make the same number of points that you made about last season when you won the league. Right now you're at sixty. You have about what 12, 13 more games in your season to go. We play thirty four. Yeah, you play 34 games. Yeah. So you play 34 games and you're, you're what, 20? So you play 34 seven. games to end the season. You're currently yeah, 27. 28. 28. So that means that you have about what? How many games more left? Six. 28, 34? Six-ish. Six more games, yeah. Six-ish. Yep. And you're already at 60, right? So if you win um, four games, right, that's 12 plus six. That's 72. Last year you won with 77 or is it 71? I'm not sure. But I do know I've seen that I've seen that you in the past yeah. three, four years, you've been winning with like the 70, 70, 70. So you're not the issue off. with us you're, is you're not the issue with us is not the points. It's not the know, points. But, it's how many it's games about, we've lost. This is the most Bundesliga games we have lost in one season since 2011, 2012. That's so how that's how Bayern here. Munich uh yes. That's how Bayern Munich looks. That's how we judge our season, not by points and that type of stuff. It's how many games we lose. So okay. the thing is, is because we've lost six games. You see what I'm saying? And and to go back to the point of why I think we're we're the underdog in this specific matchup on Tuesday, the the biggest issue is when you walk into a stadium like the Emirates, even though it's a church. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. you're looking at 99. What, what, you, haven't, you, haven't, you haven't watched any yes. Arsenal games recently, though. I, I, I don't need to watch Arsenal games recently when y'all are halfway decent. I watched you when you were in the Champions League last time. The uh, the literal last Champions you League haven't game in that. Years. It doesn't matter. 99% stadium capacity of nothing but Arsenal fans. You should, if it's louder than it was in 2017, if it's louder than then, then you're looking at 99% of your fans should be able to will you to at least a one goal. Oh, bro, there's going to be goals. But the in thing the is, game. yeah. The question, but what I'm saying is, is, is if if, if a is, full stadium, score? oh, we fucking definitely can score. Ask Harry Kane how that works. You, you can't. Hey, Harry, Harry Kane. Kane he ain't playing scoring. against us. Harry Kane playing against us this time. Harry Kane might be. Scoring a ridiculous amount of goals in the Bundesliga and breaking records, but he could be actually hurting you guys and hindering you guys. Because no. if I'm not mistaken, Bayern Munich in the past, you guys were winning. You didn't even with Lewandowski there, you guys mm-hmm. continuously were winning. Harry Kane mm-hmm. shows up, and now all of a sudden you have a player who's banging in all these goals, but you're not necessarily mm-hmm. winning the games. Could there but the be thing a is, is where, if, if, if you also want to? Wanna... Manchester United, yeah. you guys now have a situation where you have a player who's getting individual accolades, but as a team, you guys are being hindered. No, because if you look at Lewandowski's goals, he always scored 30 plus. The next closest guy was always Serge Gnabry with maybe 10, maybe 11. That's the same way we are now. The only difference is it's if Harry you're Kane. in a, if no, the it's not is Harry Kane. Kane because he's that, he came from Tottenham. No. You don't get it. He came from okay. Tottenham. Okay, I don't care guys. about how bad you, you hate Harry Kane. This is what you need to focus on. Remember that year you won all those games and you were invincible. You lost in cup games and you lost in every. You lost in other competitions, just not in the league. We're mm-hmm. right now going through with a team that hasn't lost a game in any cup competition. Any game in the season and any uh, Europa League competition. So I mean, the thing is, is it's not we're playing terribly because we were playing lights out in the first half of the season. And Leverkusen was still running away with it. So the thing is, when you're competing against a team that hasn't lost, same as with with the invincible season, other teams can't catch a team that doesn't lose. You see what I'm saying? 
it's it has nothing to do with Harry Kane or some goofy ass curse that people in London pretend it's a thing. It we is. get it. We get it. You don't like Harry, Harry Kane. Harry don't but he didn't bring a curse of shit. He did. Ta Thomas Tuchel turned us into fucking Chelsea, and we see how that happened. But the thing is, is hopefully he could turn us into the Chelsea that actually won a Champions League title. I don't see it happening because somebody needs to break his foot because that's the only way he's a good coach. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we, uh, I'm not even going to go what? there. What, broken so you, foot Thomas Tuchel took Thomas PSG Tuchel to the final? As soon as possible. But who do you bring I, in? I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. He can go out at the end of the season. He can go out tomorrow. I don't give a damn. Who do you bring in then? Well, at this point, uh, Zabi Alonso's staying at Bayer Leverkusen. Zinedine Zidane doesn't speak German or English well enough to have the job. Um, the guy from Brighton, I don't know if we pay for him, and I'm not impressed with him. Um, as, yeah, I'm not impressed with him to the point of him making the jump from Brighton to Bayern. Um, we tried that with like a Nico Kovac, and that shit didn't pan out very well. Um, for me, I don't want Ragnick but he seems like a guy that, that they're talking about. I don't want him. He may fit well, but I, I personally don't like him. My personal choice is wait until Germany gets the shit kicked out of him in the Euros and then go get Julian Nagelsmann back, the guy that actually should be there right this second anyway. Because Julian Nagelsmann did a lot with nothing. Hell no. I think it was fucking bullshit that those fucking weasels and jackasses Fucking Oliver Kahn and fucking Sally Homicide want to be wheezy little fuck boys. Wait till he goes fucking skiing and then can his ass. It's fucking bullshit. The man had to find out on a ski slope on Twitter that he got fired. What kind of bitch ass hoe fucking fire somebody over fucking Twitter? What a piece of shit. Fuck both of them clowns. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah, you're really going in on them. Dale. Fuck yeah, they can both kiss my fucking ass. Do me a favor, guys. We got over 100 people watching on YouTube and over 100 people watching on Twitter. Come join us on YouTube. This is where you get the most exclusive content. Some of the some of my videos don't even get on Twitter, so you need to come join us right now. It's absolutely free on Egal Talks Football. And also, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already done that. Now let's continue. Um, Deo. Yes, sir. Can Arsenal play the same way we played against the majority of the teams this season? against Bayern at home on Tuesday? I th I think if we play pragmatic football, we play our game. Um, I think right now Arsenal has one of the best defenses in Europe. Um, if you look across the whole, say like top four, top five leagues, um, second highest scoring team in Europe as well, outside um, Inter Milan. So all of that doesn't mean anything when it comes to a knockout competition like the Champions League. It really doesn't mean anything. What, what, what we need to do on Tuesday is lean on our strongest point, which is our defense. Um, if we can nullify anything that Bayern does attack-wise, if we can push back on them, play the, our high-press games, get a couple of goals. We're playing at home. We'll have the home advantage. It's the Emirates. I know somebody called it the church, but this is the church where you come and you do the funeral service of Bayern because that's what they're coming for this church. Let this me let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on. Are you a you're a gooner then, right? I'm a gooner. You, you know what a gooner is then, right? Yes. Like a real gooner. You yes, know, I like know. like like masturbating to the point of where you get into a mental state of euphoria. Oh, oh that oh that type of gooner yeah, for you? Yeah, for for you to gooner, you need to blow that load and come back down to fucking earth because you ain't got a chance in fucking hell. So you're saying, so, so you're of beating Bayern yeah. Munich over two legs. You may beat us in the first leg, but you better beat us by twelve. Did you if hear not, what I said? You better blow that fucking load. Did you, did you hear what I said? I said exactly. I, I use your words. No, no, well, that's what? the point. You you don't you don't you care win because the first you, game. You, you don't care because you, you know you're getting your ass kicked when you come to when you come to the Emirates. You sure. know that for a fact. I will yeah. give you that yeah, one nil win. So yeah, you can that ass. Look, it's not one. Nil. It's one. not going to be one. It's not going to be one nil. You, not only are we getting revenge when you come to the Emirates, the the, 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 Bayern, the Bayern that you are right now, the Bayern that you are right now, psh, mm. jokes. We will massacre jokes? you. Yes, jokes. Oh. I, look, okay. Y'all make sure I get listen, to come back on if listen, we bust y'all ass five to listen, one again. I respect. Oh. 
I listen, respect them. Listen, listen, listen. Egal, let me say this. Egal, let me say this. Both of you guys are going to be back next show. Don't worry. Yeah, Egal, let, me, Egal, let me say this real quick. I respect the Bayern heritage, but I don't fear Bayern this year. That's the big difference. And I, I've said the same thing. Before. Never fear us. I don't you should like, never I, fear look, us. I don't fear your team. I don't think you guys look. And then again, you, you're coming. I mean, why would, why, would, why would you fear your father? You should never fear your daddy. You're yeah, not my daddy. You're in Germany. You're in, you're in the Farmers League. The league where you win Farmers everything. League. Yeah, yeah, where nobody else. They yeah, and, we'll, until, and we're going to plow until, that until, Emirates like until, a 40 acre field. Until, until, Bayern, until Bayern Leverkusen did it again this year, like it would have always been, it was always Bayern Munich winning. Like, that's, that's not a league. Like, what are you, I mean, psh. One second, hey, please. show me what that's a Bayern fan. What that's a Bayern problem. Second, let me ask you, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, we're, we're about to do a combined eleven. <laughs> before before we go any further, Ryan, do you genuinely believe you have much better players than Arsenal? Um, I'd say all, but maybe two. Okay, so this combined eleven is going to be interesting then. Mm -hmm. This is going to be fun cool. as shit. I like him. Whichever fucking way hey, I got to point Deo. That, that way. Big up, Deo. People, <laughs> do me a favor. Hit the like button right now as we're about to get started with the combined 11. And, of course, you guys know you guys can change certain positions and, and break ties with your Super Chats. But before we go any further, we're about to start with the combined 11. So the, so with the Arsenal Bar, with the Arsenal Bayern Media combined 11, the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to actually get up, uh, what do you call it, the FIFA – uh, the the EAFC, uh, no, 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 yeah, should I do it that way? No, I'm gonna do what the uh, EAFC create... cards. No, I'm gonna do create formation. Don't worry, and then and then we're gonna start it like that. So first, goalkeeper should be simple. We we know we know who goalkeeper should be. This season has Ray have been better than Neuer. Are we going? Based Not a off... fucking chance. Are we Not going a based fucking off chance. Of... How are we doing this? Are we doing this based off form this season or who's the better player? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's better player. Decide. Or if we're gonna do it, we should be based on the game. Based on the game, that like based on like is Noah is Noah going to play in this game? Like let's do yes. it based on the game. Neuer Neuer will be in that game. Neuer will play. Okay, yes. so then goalkeeper should be easy. Yeah, Neuer. Yes, goalkeeper is Neuer. Center backs where I will have an issue, and I think on right back we'll have an issue. Okay, so well, not right thing, back because y'all don't play him at right back anymore. First thing, Neuer. Right back, simple, Ben White. Not a fucking chance. Joshua Kimmich is 10 times better than Ben fucking White. No, but Joshua Kimmich is not a better right back than Ben White. Yes, he is. Joshua he, Kimmich, when he plays he, right back, he is the best he, right when, back on, on planet when, Earth. When, when he plays right back, when? he But he doesn't and play right play, back consistently. Yes, he does. He's played it the past two and a half months because we've been injury prone. So, yeah, at right back, Joshua Kimmich is the best right back on nah, planet nah, fucking nah. Earth. I'll take Ben White about Joshua Kimmich and right back because hold on, I, I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does Arsenal play a four back or do they play a three back? We play a four we'll back. Pay, okay, Joshua Kimmich's massively better. What makes him better? Because his crossing ability, his ability to read the fucking field, his ability to also have to go in. Now, granted, this is says something about our midfield, but having to go into the the center mid spot, play DM. He's play. He slides over to play the center back spot when fucking. Eric Dyer goes out of his fucking stupid gourd. So, by, I mean, he's had way, to carry Eric Dyer's games, ass on his how back. How many games has he played at right back this season? Because to me, I'm looking at it here. He's played seven games. That's what I'm the saying. Last he's only played the last, the last, the last seven the last, games. The last seven games, yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. He can't be better than Ben White, who's played right back all season. and has He played more right back for and hold on, fucking and five has, years. Listen, and has more clean sheets this season. than Look, are we talking about the entire career? We can't okay, do clean that sheets. Kimmy, we're well, not we doing clean sheets no, listen, with a fucking right listen, back. Listen, listen, we can't do that because Kimmich has been playing longer than Ben White. You can't see it over his career. We have to, we have to put it into, into context. What, what are we talking? Are we talking about this season and how and who plays what role? And for this game, like the player that is in form is the player that should make the list. It's but not about. It's not, a, it's not ah, about you. Fuck player. that. I'll give you Ben White. Then fine. Since y'all want to fucking cry about that clown ass. Fuck me. You, me you're break. really not having it today. I ain't um, having hell no fucking Ben White over Joshua Kimmich. I don't know what y'all smoking fucking London, but God damn it, I want some. Okay. What what about what about Matthias Delick better be on that goddamn list? Matthias Delick, Matthias Delick, the best center back in the entire fucking game on both sides of the fucking field. Don't the give best, a shit. The, 
Matthias De Ligt is the best center, center back. back. The best center back pairing this season across Europe. The I don't care center back pairing. Europe. Hell no, we're doing right we're now. doing individual center backs. We're not know, doing a I'm center saying, back you, pair. No, 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 I'll by give the way, you I'll give you Saliba and Delit. You want to know something? Delit, in my opinion, doesn't get in. Shut the fuck up. Who the fuck you gonna put in there? Gabriel Ninja McGallis Kim? is better than Saliba and Delit. Oh, Magallan. Shit. Ryan, I don't think I don't know what Arsenal. crack y'all have been fucking. I don't need to fucking watch Arsenal because I got a fucking life. I like watching good shit. Come on, bro. <laughs> you don't even, even watch Arsenal. All right. All right. Do I do I need to do it? Who'd you say? Gabriel? Yeah. Versus Delict. Are you doing stat comparisons? You're damn right because I don't trust y'all. Okay. Go ahead. I, I bet you any I money. I don't trust y'all. I don't trust y'all. Are you going to gonna actually read it out? No, <laughs> no, I'm not so going to read that out. Comparison if you're not going to read it out. Because that, that's fucking terrible. I didn't realize Matthias Delic was that bad. Okay, so what's the stats <laughs> and what does it say? Huh? It gave him an eight, an 80 versus an 89. That's fucking bullshit. Are you doing FIFA ratings? What are you doing? I'm doing comparing. It's 1v1compare.com or some shit like that. Okay, let me check this out. One v one. One versus one dot com. Comparisons. I don't know. I can do. I can do. Comparisons. Oh yeah, yeah. I've never used this website before. I don't know so, if it's any damn good. Then yeah, if, if we're doing anything, then it needs to be Kim Min Jay and Gabrielle, because Kim Min Jay is above Saliba on that site. But what is okay? Educate us. How good Kim has and Kim Jay's, Jay actually been? Kim and, and Jay's why, really good. And, the only and why, issue Kim and, and why haven't you Kim mentioned Jay, him to begin with? Because I rate him as the second best on uh, Bayern behind Delic. Because the thing is, is what Delic does, uh, uh, Kim and Jay can't do. The thing is, is Kim and Jay's fast enough to recover. Matthias Delic's the guy that does like a Matt's Hummels, runs back with you and makes the, the tackle at the very end. <clears throat> Kim Min Jay can go down the field. The issue with that is, is Thomas Tuchel plays uh, Dayu Upamakano and Kim Min Jay, who play the exact same way. They run down the pitch and then make a, a ball that goes through the lines. You see what I'm saying? But they go far too far down the pitch to be able to recover. Delict doesn't go all the way down the pitch. Does that make sense? All right. Kim, Dayo, Kim and you, Jay damn near will be in the damn penalty box. You know what? I think at this point we're gonna have to give you your own combined eleven, and, and get and do our own combined eleven. We're gonna have to do two separate ones because you have like a whole different mentality to us. I didn't think it was gonna be this different. I thought there would be a general understanding. Now left back, I don't know who's your left back. Who's your left back? Rafael Guerrero. Not not uh, Alfonso Davis. Not a fucking chance. It hadn't been off. Da Davies hasn't been the Davies people are saying he is since 2020. Davies couldn't stop fucking Dio going down the damn side right now. He could outrun him going down the fucking side, but he can't stop him from doing shit. Yes. So who's your left back? Uh, I I would have picked Davies. I thought Davies not was a good. fucking chance. Hell, fucking no. Is he that no. bad? He has been that bad. Like I said, Alfonso Davies has checked out, and that's what I'm talking about. He doesn't step up into tackles. He doesn't really one v one. He's not doing that great lately. He'll have a game where he's lights out. Then he'll have three games where the lights aren't even fucking cut on. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, who who is Arsenal's left back? Uh, honestly, I was gonna I was gonna be giving left back to you because no, uh, they give it to Rafael Guerrero if you gonna give it to fucking anybody because Guerrero is actually our best right uh, left back. What do you, what do you think, Dale? <laughs> Dale. Yo, you're on mute. Sorry. You're on mute. Sorry. Yeah, I thought I'm checking out um Rafael Guerrero. Um, just a Rafael Guerrero. 
Um, Rafael Guerrero is a better a better left back overall. And no, I'm not salty. I know I'm not. No, I'm not salty because Davies is going to Madrid. Davies has sucked for the past three fucking years. Do what? Davies has sucked yes. for the last three years. You fucking ain't right. He has. Damn, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. I mean, the thing is, is he's he's too wishy washy. That and I mean, that's the fair. reason. To be that's fair, the reason why when he off the whole season injured. Yeah. No, I, he's, I, he started off the first like two months injured. So how are we putting the, him in if he only played like twelve games? Because he's in those twelve games, he's better than Davies has been the entire damn season. Then we have a case for KBR. Yeah, that's why I just that's why I just said who's your left back because ours. I mean, I know, we, we we thought we I thought I thought I thought Alfonso Davies was in form, which I was going to give you left back. But since you said he's not, and the person that you're putting up chance. as compared to KBR, I think I would. It, it, I mean, that's I think, the thing. I've got to base it off of what Thomas Tuchel will play. And the Arsenal fans can sit there and say, I'm salty all I want. I know who Thomas Tuchel will play. And Rafael Guerrero, if he is healthy, Rafael Guerrero starts over Davies. So that has nothing to do with him going start. to fucking Madrid. So he, he doesn't start. When Guerrero has been healthy, Davies doesn't normally start. But you do realize Davies has played 33 games at left back for you this season. That's wonderful. Every time that Guerrero is healthy, Guerrero starts. It's the same thing as Eric, Eric Dyer. When Eric Dyer's healthy and rested, Eric Dyer starts. Even All though right. Kim Min, even though Kim Min Jae is a better center back, this is what I'm saying. Thomas Tuchel is a fucking moron. That's what I'm trying to explain. Davies, even though he's not the best left back we have, if you're looking at this type of scenario. Yes, Davies has played more, but the thing is, is which one has had more of an impact? It's it's Guerrero, because right. Davies's impacts going forward don't outweigh what he lacks going backwards. If that if that makes sense. Let, let me let me find out what we're gonna do in the midfield now. Um, Deo, I'm gonna throw it over to you. You let me know your midfield three. Then Brian, you let me know your midfield three, and then we try to come to a compromise at the end. Uh, so Deo, yeah, what's your midfield three? The one person I, I definitely want to have in that midfield is Declan. That's it. I'll give you Dec. I'll give you Declan Rice. I'll okay, so Rice is the DM. I'll take Rice yeah, because we try we tried our goddamn asses off to get him. <laughs> we have we have no we have no defensive midfielder. What's what's up with you guys? You guys have no pull no more. Well, the thing is, is the the pull we had Thomas Tuchel essentially killed because the thing was is if you notice. And it was mentioned in the comments somewhere where basically they got two uh, two Spurs players. Most of everything that Thomas Tuchel has recommended for the board to sign in the last year have only been players from Chelsea, from Spurs, from I think Brighton may have had a few. Uh, Aston Villa had, a, I think, one. They're all EPL players. So, I mean, the thing is, is Thomas Tuchel is just spitballing with the best he can try to get. Okay. Um, uh, by the way, I do see some of you guys in the chat. I'm going to come to the Super Chat in a second. Uh, big up, Jez. I'll message you once I'm done, bro. Uh, but, yeah, let's continue. Can we agree on the other two positions? Jamal Musiala. Musiala, Musiala has to be in there. Musiala has to yeah. be in there. I have to. And my, have to. and my thing is, is we're 100% putting him as a center mid because – I'm not wasting so him Musiala as like a left wing. Taking Musiala is basically taking the Odegaard position, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'll, I'll take Musiala. Um, as a yeah, because Jamal Musiala by far is no. far and away one of the best young players in Germany by far. No, he is one of the best young players in the world. Period. Hey, yeah, yeah. There, they, I mean, there ain't many kids he, that age that can dribble the way that kid dribbles. <laughs> his, dribbling, his dribbling is insane. I remember the the World Cup, what he was doing. But yeah, let's um. And then what can we can we compromise in the final position also? What is the last one? Oh, that's a tough one, man. Because it's either going to be it's going to uh, since you you don't count Kimmich as a right back, I would have to throw Kimmich in as a center mid. And and from what I'm. What I know of Arsenal, 
Kimmich would be the next best thing because Leon Goretzka wouldn't be. Um, and I don't, I seriously don't think y'all would give Thomas Muller the chance of hell. So, I mean, would Kimmich would be the only other case? one. Would Odegaard yeah, make that's what I was looking at. I was thinking because, you know, uh, Kimmich has played in like two positions. He's, he's listed as the midfield on the Bayern website as in, the, in the squad, but he's played right back. He's like, he's listed in the midfield as a midfielder, not yeah. as, a, as a. But he so, plays right, he plays right, he plays back, right for back for Germany back. now. And he so plays just, right. Why back. do you guys so, want to get rid of him? So I, I would Why do we want to get rid of Kimmich? Yeah. Because, like I said, he's a right back that can't get it through his head to play the position he's best at. He Sorry. wants to play mid. He wants to play midfield, but the thing is, is he if he plays in the midfield, we with the pivot we run, he can't run that unless he has a, a Declan Rice beside him. If he has a Declan Rice beside him, he's ungodly as a number eight. But I, you, we don't have that Declan Rice player. I'll, I'll take Odegaard over Kimmich. Okay, uh, if you're I'll, going I'll, with I'll, the Odegaard, then I'll I'll put Thomas Muller in there. Because Muller does more going forward than than Odegaard would. Thomas so Muller, Muller fine. Muller has been shocking this season, no? No, he hadn't. Has Muller been bad this season? No. When we put when Muller comes onto the field. Or when he starts, Thomas Muller is the no, guy Muller, that Muller is he's a forward the, for you guys. He's listed as a forward, though. He all, he technically plays Cam. Yeah, but, so wouldn't Muller be? Is Muller even better than Kai Havertz right now? Fuck yeah, yes. No, always not. has been better than Kai Havertz. Not based on this season. He's always been better than Kai Havertz. Even back to when Kai Havertz was seventeen years old, playing striker at Bayer Leverkusen beside Chicharito, he's always been better than Kai Havertz. No, is bro, he better? Obviously. Is he better than Florian Mertz? No. One second, we're obviously comparing a thirty-four-year-old to Kai yes. Havertz. But, a thirty-four-year-old that averages season, ten to fifteen assists a season. This is his but worst Kai, season. Kai, Kai, Kai's xGA this season is already at fourteen as well. Kai has more goals and assists than Thomas Muller this season. If we're looking at output only, I mean, um, how many does he have right now? Thomas Muller has scored what eight assists and four goals this season. That's so far. Eight yeah. assists, but the thing. Kimmich but the different, out. but the, two, the difference is two guarantees. The and difference is with with Thomas Muller versus what what ha Kai Havertz is. Kai Havertz is more Kimmich, of a Kimmich false is, nine. I'll take, like I said, I'll take Odegaard in that position, man. I mean, Hell and, and, Mula, and, Mula, and Mula is listed as a forward on your side. He's not listed as a midfielder. So I I would. Oh my God! I, See, I'm that's gonna, the thing. I've watched him. I know where he plays. I know, but that's not my fault though. Like if I'm looking at my player list and your player list to do a combined eleven. Like when when I'm buying to put in, getting the player, you tell me he's a midfielder. Then I want him to, put, if he can play two roles, great. But I know his original role that he's signed up for is as a forward. Yes, and he's been a forward since he started. But the thing is, is he hasn't been a forward in over five years. He plays the Kevin De Bruyne role. That's why he got twenty assists and then averaged fifteen assists for the next four years. This is the only year he doesn't have under 10 you know, assists. People are saying I'm delusional. If, uh, I'm going to get to the Super Chats in a second. If you want to change it, you can Super Chat whatever you need to I change mean, it. I mean, if we're going with anything as far as that, it's either Odegaard is not better than Joshua Kimmich, period. But the thing is, is Odegaard also doesn't play right back. That Y'all haven't had injuries that forces Ben White off the field and Odegaard to play in his position. Joshua Kimmich is that guy. But no, if but I can't get Joshua, Joshua Kimmich's if, best position is his best position is right back, but you won't give me right back. So if you put Joshua Kimmich must be on this list, period. But the thing is, if if you don't accept him as a right back, you have to accept him as a center back and a, or a center mid. And as a center mid, he is better than Odegaard. Has he been better than Odegaard this season? No, he hasn't. How can, how can he be? Okay, what are we basing this off of? Because how can he be better? Overall performance of what? Odegaard's an attacking midfielder. Joshua Kimmich is a number eight. Joshua yeah, Kimmich does more. This is, is, this is where it's Joshua tricky. Kimmich. Joshua Kimmich also was forced into playing our center defending mid role because we don't have one. Okay. How so about the thing this? is, is you is, you're comparing is, Odegaard is Kimmich, who's closest? Is Kimmich better on. than Rice? No. Is Kimmich no. better than than Musiala this season? Probably not. So no, because he's not an attack. Team, he's not an attacking midfielder. Okay, Somebody that's why when you're uh, when you're lining up with this as four three three, 
there's where your difference is. We don't run a four three three. Somebody submit a super chat and break the tie. That's the best way to do it. Oh yeah, say that to the Arsenal fans. I'm sure we're gonna fucking figure that out. <laughs> this, uh, I, I, I'm just, I'm just like, if if you're saying that he's a midfielder who's been playing, the last right, don't as worry, a, as you a don't right have to back, put your name to this. As we a can't... right back. Um, oh no, I'm not putting my name to that shit. All I'm saying is I, like, if... well, one second, you know something. Since you're, you since you since you're disrespecting you the command eleven, I'm just gonna put I'm gonna do your own list. So you want Kimmich okay. right back? If you want to do one for me, I'll do I'll do one. Like okay, specifically you separate. Back, and, you want your and, center back pairing to be Saliba and Dele? Well, no, Gabriel. Now that I found out Gabriel is actually as good as he is when I compared him, but it's not gonna be Dele. It'll be Kim and Jay. So Gabriel and Kim and Jay. Yep. So no Saliba. Nope. Not for me. And if we're allowing a right back, then we put him at right back. Bro, don't worry. You're gonna have. You're gonna. Oh have, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Who's your but left back? Th- my uh, Guerrero probably. You already. I know. Have I'm gonna. I'm good. Oh, um, and the only thing is, is the Musial and Rice. Yes, hundred percent agree. The Odegaard for me, it just depends on what you're looking for as far as the lineup, because Odegaard isn't a def- doesn't go back to defend because he's got Declan Rice with him. He Joshua does. Kimmich, it, Joshua Kimmich. Yes, you're not watching the season though. That's what I'm saying. I don't need to, okay, but what That's I'm saying is, is Odegaard's direct competition in the position that he plays in a Bayern lineup would be Leon Goretzka. If we're going Odegaard versus Goretzka, then it's going to be Odegaard. But you can't go Joshua Kimmich because Joshua Kimmich has played the same thing Odegaard has, the same thing Rice has, and the same thing Ben White has. I just want to see. I just want to see how biased we are as fans. So we basically are going to change this to ours. For me, it just depends on on how the team would play. I'm going to make two separate ones, and I'm going to show both of them, okay? So or, I'm actually going to have And it's, I, it's I-E-S, Davies. Yeah, I, I should know that. Okay, so I've changed it. Now, just so, just so I know, your midfield is Musiala. Cause, cause, yeah, and then I'd put – I'd see, for me, when I do these combined 11s, I think of how they would actually play on a field together. That's That's how I look at it. I think that's the wrong way to look at it. Just look at the best player available. Joshua Kimmich, then, not Odegaard. Okay. Because when we get when we get to the top, it shouldn't be hard. But I'll 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 argue with you for one. Okay. Uh, because <laughs> I already know who the right wing is, and it, it's not my guy. <laughs> okay. So we so we all agree Saka's right wing. Fuck yeah! I'm I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not. People, I'm not say, people say Sane, Gnabry. No, Sane's and, a left wing. And Coleman are all better than Saka. Some people, some people make arguments that they're better than Saka. If you, but the thing is, is if we're looking at how they're playing right now, Leroy Sane would have to be the left wing. Saka would be the right wing. If we look at how they've played past five years, Serge Gnabry would be right wing, not Bayoka Saka. Because Serge Gnabry averages 10 to 15 goals a season. And then he averages somewhere between six to eight assists a season. So, yeah, I mean, bro, the thing is. Don't, don't, don't ask what a real gunner is. He's referring to something <laughs> that has to do with porn. Hey, no. If you look, if you Google gunner, it's the first definition. The second I definition is an Arsenal fan. <laughs> I don't want to know. Um, but, yeah. So, we got three. We got a couple of super chats we got to get through. Before we get Hold to on. the super chat, strikers, strikers, Harry Kane, left wing is Leroy Sane. Kane, mm. uh, Deo, what are you saying? Kane and Sane? You can I'll hate take, Harry I'll Kane take, all you I'll want. Take, I'll take Kane. I'll take Kane. I'll take Kane up front. No, 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 no. Look, I, look, I don't hate Harry Kane. Like, I don't know if, if uh, guys ever heard me say this. I consider Harry Kane a world class striker. Literally, like, any I never top did. Team, like, no, any I, top I, team I'm, in the world would have him. <laughs> any top team in the world would have him. Like the guy, yeah. the guy, yeah. So that's it. But like before any, he came, before he came to Bayern, I always had him the third best striker. So, so I was I had I'd, I'd, I'd Lewandowski, Benzema, and then Harry Kane. Now it's Lewandowski's dog mean? shit. Are you guys happy with this? I'm not happy with it, but I'm, I'm okay I, with I ain't it. got I ain't got to put my name on it. 
the no, Odegaard no, one, the Odegaard one's the only one. Well, the Odegaard one's the only one that I I essentially could disagree with. One second. If we're, if we're not putting Kimmich is right I got back. yours. I got yours ready. One second. Egal, I think the, Egal, I think there's a super chat for somebody who put up uh, Kimmich, Rice, Musiala, Sakasani. Fair, okay? All right, one second. Let me just go to the super chats in a second. But before we do that, let me just show you. This is our team, right? Me and Deo. And then this is Bayern's team. Bayern Ryan. Uh, this is your team. Huge yeah. difference. Huge difference. Yes. By the way, yeah, that you, that team kicks you, the shit out of the one, other team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Bayern players. Mm -hmm. I told you there was going to be a couple of years that automatically make my roster. That's the best team. Based on based on what I'm hearing, you only guaranteed us three spots. Originally, I guaranteed you two spots, but I forgot about Declan Rice. I'm speechless. Why? Wow. Like speechless. As, as a Bayern fan, of course, that's where the bias is. You think, Mike? Like, look at our, look at ours. Of course, Bayern. as a Bayern, that's what you go for. The Bayern fan, you, you, you definitely would have more of your guys, even though you say they are crap this season, even though you say they're underperforming this season. Yet, I mean, unless we're looking at it overall, if we're talking overall in their entire career. Then yes, a lot of Bayern players will get in before this team. I, I feel like our team. Which team is but better? This, Everyone in the chat, let me know okay. which team is better. Is Ryan's okay, team which better team is better is on what? Deo's team better. What? We, like if they played each other, which one would be better? No, which team is more closer to your combined eleven as a in damn that? If they played each other, which team would win? How? Do, no, we can't determine that. Yeah, you can. See all them Bayern players win. I, you know, you're so biased. Three points. It's crazy. Three points. I didn't realize yes. you were this biased, Ryan. Um, Do you see my go. eyeball? What? You don't see my eyeball? Yeah, yeah, that's... Yes, yeah, that's... I'm, I'm a little biased, just a tad bit. There you go. <laughs> what your eye, by the way? I lost my eye to cancer. Oh, and wow. when they... Then they were like, hey, we can make you a regular eyeball. And I was like, damn that. God had his chance. He gave me cancer in that all ball, so now it's my chance. So wow. I got the Bayern Munich all ball. Crazy. Uh, let's 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 get to the super chats. Big up, Ghost Nathan J with the super chat saying Arsenal fans live uh, living in Munich uh, got tickets. <laughs> Come on, you Gunners. Big up to you, man. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the game. Uh, you're gonna be in the second leg, so hopefully you get to see us go through to the next round, uh, and we can do something amazing at the Allianz Arena. Um, then we have another one here saying Kimmich, Rice, Musiala, Saka, Kane, Sane. Yeah, that's exactly what we went with, param yeah. uh, paramedic uh, Gunnar. So that is the exact thing that we went with. Am I wrong, Dave? That's what I went with. Y'all yeah. went with Odegaard. Remember, oh, y'all yeah, went we, with Odegaard. You, we went with Odegaard. You went with this. Yeah. So we now have to change Odegaard out for Kimmich because he, he super chatted. So I mean, my thing is, is if you put Kimmich in there, I I don't, I, I don't have that big of an issue with you either the, the center rules, back there. Um, <laughs> one here, he says Davies left back, Kimmich, Rice, Odegaard, Musiala, Saka, Kane, Musiala left wing. Nah, we're not playing Musiala at wing. Musiala's a midfielder. Bro, Musiala, to respect... Mu... one second. You have to respect to somebody that knows the way that he plays. He's not a left wing. Has he ever played on the left? He goes to the left after the game starts. That's on. But the thing is, oh, is <laughs> Muller goes to the left. The thing is, is we once the game starts, these you have Davies as almost a midfielder. Hey, that's you know that's going to suit our style of play perfectly. I mean, yeah, but that, that's that why means, we don't need to let him play. That means we're underdogs. Mm -hmm. uh, one second, Byron. Do you believe you're the favorites? No. Not in this game. In the overall tie, yes. Over the two legs, yes, we're the favorites. In the first game at the Emirates, we are the underdogs. Okay, Just so because of all the things that come into contact of Manuel Neuer coming back, Leroy Sané coming back, being in front of an, a hostile 99% full house of nothing but 
you know what I'm saying, Arsenal fans. Yes, that how, those, how those it, outside how entities. How can, it be host, how can it be hostile on the church at the same time? I, I'm confused. Because y'all told me that I haven't heard it in forever. So, I mean, it must be a, a raucous, like, Turkish atmosphere. It must be like Besiktas in that bad boy now, right? Y'all got you're flares welcome. and all kinds you're, of stuff. You're, you're welcome to find out. Hey, all I know is Cologne found out very well how to take over that stadium real easy. Just wear black and then take everything off. That was then. This is now. Yeah, but y'all banned them too. So how do you know Bayern won't sneak people in the same way that they did? Hey, you know, sneaking, you know the, the sneaky German. Oh man, he went there. Let's talk about he, uh, my man Jez saying let's uh, uh, the Arsenal history and more. Go check out his channel. Big up to Jez for the super chat. He says let the people talk about Gooners. You want me, like, you want me, you want me to you want me to address that? Hey, real yo, quick? talk to you know? me. What yeah. is a Gooner? So basically, the, 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 the Guna came after uh, Woolwich Arsenal as a club, dropped the name Woolwich, and just became the Ars just became Arsenal and moved to Highbury. I think it was 1913. And so the, the squad was called the Goon Squad. That was literally where it started from. And then the fans later on were now called Gunas. The, the club was called Gunners because we dropped, you know, uh, the Woolwich. All we had was the Arsenal and the Cannon. And so they were called Gunners. And then the, the, the firm at the time was called the Goon Squad. In 1913, if I'm not mistaken, 1914, 1915, was called the Goon Squad. And that's where the name Goon has actually kind of spun out from. So to the best of my knowledge and the history that I know that I've read up on, that's where it came from. Or the term Gooner, as done by the Internet, is a person who practices gooning, which is a type of masturbation that involves edging for a long time, causing a trance-like state. I, the other bro, definition, the other definition, hold on, the other definition is a stupid know, or deliberately foolish person. So, I mean, it I, does I am, do Listen both to what I'm saying. The question it says talking, about y'all. Listen, we're not it, talking about... The de we're, not, we're not talking about what the definition is. We're saying, what does the name Guna come from for Arsenal? The reason Arsenal... Fa you, fans need to, all you need to blow on, your load yeah, so you can there's go back earth. There's a difference between saying the definition of a word and why a club adopted the name for fans. The word Guna for Arsenal did not start until the squad was called the Goon Squad. So that's for people right. that say, oh, good. So it came from the derived from the nickname the Gunners. Yes, they and they, they got Arsenal. That's what but that's they made the sure they made so sure Urban Dictionary to do Gooner. Urban, Urban, because Urban it's Dictionary, a deliberately foolish person. Urban Dictionary, you can use your Urban Dictionary and all those other things that that's you want. That's not to an use. Urban Dictionary. That's, I don't know what dictionary you're checking, but that's not what it is. That's the Collins Dictionary. I don't know who the Collins is. I I normally go by Webster, but. Whoever Collins yeah. is, deliberately yeah, I, I, foolish I, 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 person. Brian, does TT rest players? Uh, Thomas Tuchel rest player this weekend versus Cologne. I'm not worried about this weekend. I'm worried about Tuesday. Then I'll think about this weekend. No, my his point is: Do you think he's going to rest players for the following weekend? No. The You're only gonna, time he'll rest. He, we play everybody every game. Okay. So, yeah. Because it's, it's it's the same thing as, like, when, when we play in the DFB Pokal, it's all of our starters. Unlike teams in England that play in, like, the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup, you play, like, the, the eight-year-olds versus the seven-year-olds. And then when you get to the games that matter, then you may put in a guy or two from the senior squad, but still playing, like, eight-year-old girls team. We play starters the whole time. That's how we play. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, what is your prediction for the game at the Emirates? And also, is everyone happy? Is everyone happy with the lineup? The people in the super, everyone who super chatted. I made sure I changed the team to fit the super chats. To be fair, the only change I would make is Kimmich for Musiala and Sane in. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Every time I see a person that chat that does this this type of shit. I have to address it. So, Egal, uh, uh, I apologize for what I'm Bro, a, a rant. You're, you're... Oh, no, 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 no. The person that said they said Hitler had a Bayern Munich flag in his office. All right, look here, you dumb son of a bitch. We were the team that was run by Jews, founded by Jews, and our owner at the time and president was run out of the country by that fucking piece of trash. Stop fucking throwing that piece of garbage's name and my club's name in the same fucking sentence. 
Now, I'm nice to Egon and, and Dio, and I apologize for this, but you motherfuckers on Twitter and other social media things need to drop that fucking shit. Just because we're from fucking Germany does not mean that every German is a fucking fascist piece of shit. Now, for the last goddamn time, Adolf Hitler despised Bayern Munich. He hated Bayern Munich because we didn't give a flying fuck what him and his pack of fucking dickheads wanted to do. We fought him at every fucking angle, and our club almost ended at that point. Our fucking founder ended up in a goddamn concentration camp 20 miles north of fucking Munich. So in that fucking stupid nonsense, if you want to talk that Hitler bullshit, go find you a fucking 1860 Munich fan. They'll be able to tell you since that was his favorite fucking club. So take that fascist bullshit and shove it right up your fucking ass. Okay, we can continue now. <laughs> bro, you're going you're going too hard at the comments. Guys, nah, bro. I got to we got to kill that shit because that's that's a stigma that my family has tried to fight since they lived in Germany. Are you German though? Yes. My grandfather was born in Munich. My dad was born outside of Stuttgart. They came to the United States to get away from that bullshit for my grandfather to join the U.S. Army to go back and fight people that he knew. So the thing is, is yes, I take that shit fucking personally. And I fight people in my hometown when they say that stupid shit. So, yes, I take that extremely, extremely, do, extremely do actually, serious. Do you speak German also? Like, do you know German? I speak a little bit of Bavarian, but the thing is, is living in South Carolina in the U.S., nobody speaks it. So the thing is, is it's one of those things when I get home, it sort of goes away. But I still keep like Haitai Goshen, which yeah means go fuck yourself. So yeah, Haitai Goshen to the guy that fucking wrote that goddamn <laughs> shit. Where is this going? All right, let's, let's bring fuck. it back to football. Let's bring it back fucking to football. Fucking Arschloch. Guys, let's bring it back to football. Let's bring it back to football. Um, there you how do you think the game's gonna go at the Emirates? I think I think if we like I said, if we lean on um our strength as our defense, I think we can pop them two goals. We can we can keep our clean sheet like we have we, we have the best defense in Europe right now. I don't see any reason why we can't beat them 2-0 at the Emirates. They don't have any fans coming. Um it seems like it's all lining up for us at the Emirates. We have to get as much as we can out of there. It's gonna be hard. It's Bayern we're talking about here. I mean it's going to be very hard to to beat them and keep a clean sheet, but I think Arsenal has what it takes to do that. So I, I'd say, I'd say two two zero. I don't want to give them a goal at the Emirates because if I do that, then once we go to the Alliance Arena, it's a it's a whole yeah, it's a whole it's a whole new ball game. We can't go there with a one goal lead. Fair enough. That, that uh, honestly, can't you can't go to. Lead. You're gonna need at least three, and I, I'll well, be honest with you. You're, you, I have you winning two uh, two to one. And and it's not because of what we can't bring. It's just because of all the things outside of the field that can affect us. Two to one could be the, the logical way of thinking. Like if, if I was to bet on the game, I'd bet Arsenal two to one. As far as being a Bayern Munich fan and, and my personal way of seeing it, I see us winning two to one. I personally, I'm going 3-0, similar to the comment here from Benny Blanco. And and reason being, I think it's going to be like one of those games where we get we get a, we get an early lead, and you guys start throwing a bunch of people uh, up to try to get the to try to get back into the game, and then we hit you with a third, and then from there we shut up shop, and and we try to take it, we try to we. We then try to go to the second leg, and our approach is going to be very pragmatic in the second leg, maybe like a nil-nil or 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 one-one. I don't. You're going to pull the same that, shit that that everybody go. else does. Hey, try to get you, up on me, us, and then and then park the fucking bus. Yeah, one hundred percent. There has to be a level of respect when we travel away to the Alliance. Last time we played you, ten-two on aggregate. Best believe you are not scoring at the Emirates. Uh, yeah, that's that's bullshit. No, no, no. Okay. The team we defensively, will. Ryan. Let forget about forget about bullshit and everything else. Because I feel like at this point you're being somewhat disrespectful the way you're speaking about the club. Do you realize how good we've been this season? Do you realize how good we can be if we hit on but the way that we that it. I know? If we don't need to show it, but the thing you is, is you, show it. you do need to show it. You do need to show it, though. I mean, like if you say we have, That's, we don't need to show it. Like so. Here's the thing. The thing, Ryan, thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing, Ryan. Okay, so Ryan, here's the thing. 
I I, mean, I don't know if you remember what I said when I said I respect Bayern, right? Because I know mm -hmm. Bayern can turn Bayern can turn up. I totally mm -hmm. respect um, Bayern. But you also have to realize that this Arsenal team that you're coming up against is not the Arsenal of old. Right now in care. Europe. No, no, I, I know you don't care. What was it? <laughs> that doesn't matter. Look, look, for me, one thing is clear. You're coming to the Emirates and you're going to lose at the Emirates. No. Whether you like it or not. You're going to lose at the Emirates for sure. Now, whatever happens in the return leg is what is beyond my control. But I can tell you that at the Emirates, with our defense and the way we play, even if we need to park the bus, we will park the bus. But the if thing we, is, is, if you, like, if you park me, the bus, that's the let, worst thing you can do if we have the guys that are getting healthy that'll be healthy for that game. Because but but, but you, you don't these want... Guys are, these guys are just coming back. They, they, they're also going to need... Game. They're yeah. making it sound like they, they just... They, they come back, they're healthy, and immediately they're going to hit form. You know what it is when players come back from, from injuries. They need at least yeah, a game. But Le you need to ease them into Leroy the game. San, Leroy Sané will be fine. All, Leroy Sané, okay. all he needs to do is take shots. Okay. I mean, the thing is, 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 is Serge Gnabry's coming into his own after being out for four to six months. So, sir, and Serge Gnabry, as everyone has seen in the past, and it doesn't matter if it's the, 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 the arsenal of old or not, Serge Gnabry, every time he goes to London, ends up tearing the damn place apart. So, I mean, Bro, the I, thing is, this is a different, out, one second, I, we need to make this clear. This is a different outfit. This is not Tottenham under Poch. This is not Arsenal under Thing. Ryan, you are going to be extremely humbled. Unfortunately, I don't think you actually no. realize what you are getting yourself into. Because you're speaking, in a sense, it comes very arrogant. Like, yes. I get it. You're a Bayern a fan. Ba based off of the history of Bayern Munich and Arsenal, we've earned the right to be arrogant. I don't care what y'all have now. What we have done over the past hundred million times we've played y'all in this thing, we've knocked you out every damn time. So the thing is, is you can see that as being disrespectful or being arrogant. But when that team has earned that right, we can be that way. It's the same as if we play Real Madrid in the next round. Real Madrid fans can 100% be arrogant as hell, even if they're not going to beat us, because they've done that in the past. The thing is, is we've played Champions League football every year you this is the first time you've been in a game that actually determines if you are having a successful season or not because okay, the thing so, is is so you can I, you can I need to, I need act to, I need, like i need to, i need to debunk some things maybe in recent times you can say yes Bayern. like the total times we've played you guys is 12 times right arsenal and Bayern have played 12 times in total Bayern has won six drawn twice arsenal has won four in our history mm -hmm. of going and look how many and no, look no, no, how many games look how many goals we've scored I, i'm not look, see, i'm talking wins so but you said i agree with you goals you can now begin to count individual games on the 10 twos and the aggregates get that but to say that we, you've beaten us every like you've won six we've won four right i get it two more wins than us and we've drawn twice yes so in, but the thing in, is, so is those grand, wins, so when on, you're so looking grand, at a win Ryan, uh, Ryan, three, what I'm saying, the last Ryan, three I'm wins is, is fifteen to three. What, what I'm saying is, in the look, if you like, score twenty goals to one. A win is a win. You knock us out or we knock you out. Either, either. Yes, win. it's either embarrassing so, or you barely lose. Yeah, exactly. So my point is, in in the grand scheme of things, head to head, it is not as bad as it's not a bad picture. It's not as bad as you're painting the picture. Like, oh, we wipe you guys. All the, yeah, now the the score lines, the score line might be embarrassing, but yes, head -to -head, and that's what. No. So if we're talking head to head. If we're talking head-to-head, head, okay, and start, if we're talking, but if we're me. talking, okay, and the thing is, is it's also when was the last time we were head-to-head? Y'all -head? haven't even been in Champions League since 2017. That's what I'm saying. So I'm the saying thing, based on so the, history, the thing though. is, is but if you're also looking at history, we've got six Champions League titles. Y'all have none. That's what I said. I said I so the thing is, is I, we have, but. And I get that, but the thing is, is to tell me that I'm arrogant or that that this that or the other we have earned that right to as 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 Bayern Munich fans we have earned that right to be that way all right fair enough I'm just gonna say this big up to the super chat here Josh once again says I go to Bayern Munich games since I've been living here they are shit okay you're an Arsenal fan stay the fuck out of the stadium dick bag <laughs> yeah allow the super chatters man no because I don't get the dollar ninety nine you do <laughs> no, he's a nice guy helping out the channel you know what i mean uh but yeah people all i'm saying is there. 
all I'm saying is there's a big difference between goals. Bayern scored, Munich and Arsenal. No, no, goal scored and head to head um, record. Head to head record is not as bad as you guys paint out Arsenal and Bayern's head to head record to be. People, people <coughs> come here and make it sound like we've played them 20 times and they beat us 20 times in a row. No, we've actually beat Bayern before. And Bayern has beat yes. us as well. So in those 12 times, because it's always European games, guess what? It's home and away. So those 12 games are home and away, home and away, home and away. We've won four of those. You've won six of those. We've tied two of those. In total, we have that is the record. Like, But now if you're saying goal scored, that's a different thing. Goal scored in those games can be embarrassing. Yes, I remember the 10 to aggregate. That's a different conversation. But to paint the picture that, oh, Arsenal is the head-to-head -head record with Arsenal and Bayern is so bad that if you, if you have to go by that, Bayern is going to, Wipe us but the thing is, is but but you also said this ain't the same Arsenal team that was in the past, right? That's what y'all kept saying. So the thing is, is if you're bringing up all the times that we met, the ones that you did beat us in, how far back were those? No, I'm just saying head to head record. Look, look I don't no, I mean I'm the not, thing I'm is, is when, we haven't when been there. We haven't. We haven't been Bayern versus we have, Arsenal. We haven't it's been fifteen there. to three. I'm saying we haven't that you're talking in just recent times. We haven't been in the Champions League for a long time. So if 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 we go by by your logic, then we shouldn't even be counting anything that happened since then. 14 years. We should be talking about the team as is now, the current form that they're in, the form that they're bringing to the Emirates. What do you mean 14 of, years? We haven't been in the Champions like we have not been in Champions League since when? When was the last time we went in Champions 2017? League? 2017. 2017. No. I was in the Emirates watching it. Was it 2017 when we played you guys? Yeah. Let me, let me pull that I, I was there I watching there. it because that was as it, oh, no, it's sorry, been within the past six. Sorry, since we made it to the knockout stage, my bad. I, I uh, was thinking, no, I was you were in the knockout stage I'm saying, in 2016. I'm saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying quarterfinal. Like, oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, I, I got like, you. Okay. I'll say quarterfinal. Um, yeah, 14 years since we've, since we've been to this state and to this level. Okay. Yeah, since we've been okay. to this level where we're playing you guys. Like, so sorry. That's where my mind was when I was saying it. I was just like, oh, stop. Okay. I got you. So, so for right. me, so for me, it's key to to look at the head to head as well because we only meet you guys in Europe, and since we yeah. hadn't been in Europe since 2017, we there's no data to show where we're at right now. But we can look at the current form of the teams, both teams, and based on that current form and looking at the Champions League, knowing it's a knockout tournament, base it on that and say, okay, well, let's look at exactly where where we meet. So, well, you can, when, but you can base it off of the past two times that we've been in the Champions League in this spot. We've pissed it away two years in a row. So, I mean, you can literally bring that part up instead of that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm, I'm saying, saying like, what's in the league. We we could very well piss it away. You know what I'm saying? I'm, because I'm Tuchel did it form. last year and Nagelsmann did it the year before that. So, I mean, it, you don't even need current form. It's just the past two times we've gotten to this point, pissed it away. You know what I'm saying? Because you had Villarreal beat the brakes off of us under Nagelsmann, and then you had City do the same damn thing last year. Now, yep. granted, the city game was Upa Makano completely going brain fart shit bag. But and you, guys, and you guys let Man U score three goals at the at the arena. Yeah, it's because of uh fucking Upa Makano. Man U scored three goals <laughs> at the arena. And yeah, and you guys are coming with well, you know what? Let me let me let me be humble so the football gods don't do nothing. Let me just be humble. I'm just gonna leave it there. Hmm. Well, yeah, because I mean the football god is from Germany, so what? It's, you know Boston Schweinsteiger's the football god, duh. No, he's not. Football god. Well, anyways, Schweinsteiger. Guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. <laughs> Big up to everyone in the chat with the super chats, especially uh Josh uh uh my guy Ghost Nathan J. Also uh V uh V1K United, big up to you for uh, for getting for getting Liverpool to drop points today. Uh, Jez, big up to you for the super chat. Also, we also had uh, Paramedic Gunner with a couple super chats. Also, big up to you. I will be putting out the I will be putting out Bayern Ryan's uh, combined eleven on Twitter and also Mike uh, our combined eleven from this video on Twitter. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will I will not be doing a video tomorrow as tomorrow I'll be going to London. But Tuesday, I'll I'll be trying to go to the game if I can get tickets, uh, as I have I have already entered the draw, so I, I'm able to to use the ticket exchange. So I'm gonna try to get tickets tomorrow. If I can get tickets, I'm gonna be going to the game. If not, I'll be doing a post match reaction as always. Deo, you already know what it is. I'll catch you on the next show hopefully. And Byron Ryan, Ryan appreciate appreciate your time, bro. Have yourselves a wonderful day, guys. Ryan, Ryan where, where you? Okay, no, we'll, I'll talk to you once we get off the screen. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. Uh, can I hear the all-time combined eleven on ability? All-time combined eleven: Bayern and Arsenal. 
On ability. On, a, on ability, um, on only ability. one only one Arsenal player makes it. Henri. Yep. All time. I'll, I'll give you Henri, but you better but you better not take Frank Ribery off the field. Hold on, you, okay. So, hold so on, Henri's hold on. in, Robin. No, Ribery. You can take- no, no, no. Take that fucking Thierry Henry off at striker. You put Thierry Henry at right wing. I'll give you him at right wing. Where, Where, who you never played right wing. Thierry Henry never care. played right wing. Yeah, so then no, no. no way, okay, man. but if you're but if you're doing all time, Thierry Henry can't hold a candle to fucking Garrett Muller. Yeah, Thierry Henry and Garrett Moore. All time, all time goalkeeper is Neuer. No. no. Who? Seth Meyer. Seth Meyer. Mm. Yeah, we have. Uh, well, no, I'll, I'll give Neuer. I'll give. No, I'll give. I'll give you Neuer. I'll give you Neuer because he's got two triples. I'll give. I'll give you. I'll give you Neuer. Even though Seth Meyer won three uh, Champions League titles okay. in a row. A right back, Philip Lamb. Yes, by far. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take Lamb. Center back would be uh, Franz Beckenbauer, and I don't know if this is gonna allow me to do this. L A M Philip Lam. L A H M. Okay, uh, center back pairing all time would uh, Franz Beckenbauer. F F R E N Z. How do you spell that? Just go F R E N Z. F R A Z. Or yeah. N Z. I can't, I'm trying to read it while you're doing it. You know what? I, I B B E B E C K. Or are you okay, searching I'm for gonna, it? Just tell me who the uh, next center back is. Swazenbeck. It's not even letting me. I won't even let you add Beckenbauer? No. Nah. Well, it'd be Beckenbauer and Swazenbeck. And left back would probably be Paul Breitner. I don't even know if EAFC has all these names. No, they don't. EAFC doesn't have all of those. Yeah, but, okay. if, but if we have, but to, if le- we have to do the left back, Ashley Coleman, I don't care what you say. I don't care what don't, you say. Uh, yeah, you don't well, okay, know what, him. What, know what him. is what is Ashley? I know who Ashley Cole is, but what yeah. is Ashley? Uh, okay, I'll give you Ashley Cole. You can, uh, yeah, because that's that's one position that I can tell you that even in modern day football, today, I mean, the, 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 yeah, but the thing is, is is Bright uh, Brightner would be as well because last time I checked, Ashley Cole doesn't have a World Cup title. Brightner does. Yeah, but we're so, saying <laughs> but, 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 but we're talking about the clubs. Dude. We're saying like, are we just are we looking at everything they've won? Like, yeah, that's win? what I'm. Like, that's for, what I'm, for home. Are, country, are we looking like, at everything? Are we looking at then... country, club, you know, personnel like uh, Golden Boots, FIFA? Like, okay, you know, well, we'll if if it says combined eleven, we'll just do Bayern, Arsenal. I'll give you Ashko. <clears throat> oh shit! You know, in your combined eleven, you put two Kimmiches. Did I? Yeah. Right back and, and midfield. Yeah. Oh. So which one which one are you taking out for Odegaard? We'll do the midfielder. We'll keep Ben White as a left back or right back. Wait, you're gonna keep Ben White. Yeah, he and wants to put, keep Ben White as right back and put and Kimmich put, in the midfield. Kim, yeah, put Kimmich in the midfield. But I'll give you Ashley Cole as a left back of all time. Um I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not going to, I don't have the facilities to actually set it up properly. Yeah, just remember it. And in midfield, Patrick Vieira has to be in there. I don't care what you say. Maybe. I'll give you, I'll give you Patrick Vieira as yeah, a so, so defending have, mid. I'll give you, uh, and then Lotar Mateus beside him. That's um, it. I, 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 those, once my, once my, once Henry, Vieira, Ashley Cola in there. And then my him. thing, can, but see, the thing is, the for me, I'd put Franck Ribery on the left. I'd put Thierry Henry on the right. Even though Thierry Henry never played on the right, when you do all-time 11s, you just put the best players up the there. Best, so, best th- player, yeah. so, you're, so you're three attackers. No, I wouldn't even put uh, – I love Franck Ribery to death, but I wouldn't even put him up there. If we're doing three attackers, it'd be Gerard Muller, uh, Karl Heinz Romanega, and Thierry Henry. Because Karl Heinz Romanega won ungodly yeah, amounts of Ballon d'Or. Romanega. I totally forgot about that guy. That's true. 
Yeah, he gets left off a lot because when you because he played striker, the same as Julie Honus. But yeah. the thing is, is when you look at the best Bayern striker ever, it's Gerd Muller. So those two get left off. Hell, even Dietmar Honus, which is Julie Honus's brother, he's just fucking good. So yeah, yeah we we put Karl Heinz Romanek in there. We just do three mids, and who would be the, the other midfielder be? Lothar Mateus, Patrick Lothar Vieira, Vieira, and Vieira, and. Oof. Would you do Bastian yeah. Schweinsteiger or Michael Ballack? Uh, Ballack. Schweinsteiger, so Ballack, Burkham. Schweins Schweinsteiger has the better club career. Ballack, Ballack, Ballack was, has the, Ballack Ballack was has the, the better player. Not at Bayern Munich, though. Ballack was the better player when he went to Chelsea. No, but are we doing ability? Or are we doing, Are we doing? what do you call it? Who's all the time. best player? Just best player. I just thought it time. was all just best players all time. Dennis Burkamp doesn't make that list, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh! No, he doesn't. He doesn't. I, Dennis I think Burkamp makes the list based on ability. No, he no, makes no. maybe the 12th no, 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 no. Based on ability, right? He probably makes the list, but we're not basing it on ability right now. We're basing it on everything that they've won. No, but that's what he know. said. No, no, but the thing is, is oh, based on ability. That's what he, oh, he's just talking ability, though. Ability, oh, then you that, have that, to put oh. Bastion Schweinsteiger on there. Ooh, Burkamp, man. Ooh. Oh, Schweinsteiger is good, but on ability, Dennis Bergkamp on ability, on ability, technicality, ball, ball Anyways, control. guys. No way in hell. No way in hell. If we do Anyways, ability, I'm going with Michael Ballack. We're going to wrap it up here, guys. We're going to wrap it up here. This has been a very interesting show. We're going to wrap it up here. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. It is 1.15 in the morning for me. So you can tell we're, we're doing it late night show. But yeah, we're out of here, people. Have yourselves a wonderful day. We'll catch you on the next one. And yeah, peace out.